Good day to everybody. My name is Carlo. <clears throat> I want to illustrate my understanding of the uh, new mixer feature of the Outwork 5 uh, software. Um, I illustrate this uh, by using uh, my configuration and uh, the caveat call uh, CAN organ from Sonus Paradise. So, uh, my configuration is uh, <coughs> basically represented in this picture. We have um, a certain number of speakers, S01 up to 24. We have uh, two boxes corresponding to an active filter and uh, a lexicon reverber. And, um, and then this is what I want to do. I want to set up uh, Outwork so that I have uh, basically three groups for surround, uh, front, surround, rear, and uh, um, a noise group for output the organ noise uh, uh, channel. So let's start. <coughs> the um, my way of, of working is to uh, use start from this window, from uh, available from view, large floating uh, control panels, and the audio mixer uh, settings. So this is the main window I use to to start uh, to do the configuration, and I usually work. Uh, uh, by starting from audio device to mixer verb to mixer bus groups then to rank routing and to rank voicing so let's start start from audio uh, audio device which basically allow you to configure uh, your uh, uh, audio card outputs uh, into audio channels for Outwork. My audio card has 24 channels, as you can see here, from 1 to 24, and uh, I already pre-selected and gave the, na gave the name. Uh, well, the names are a little bit different than in the picture, but uh, it's very easy to understand. This is uh, S01, down to S14, then S15 and 16, lexicon, lexicon, DBX, channel 1, channel 2, B, left and right, GBL, left and right, which correspond in my picture to all of these. You see, S01, S16, <coughs> then DBX, lexicon, these, these are the JBL uh, speakers, and uh, these are the BE left and right speakers. So basically, uh, that uh, screen corresponds to the configuration of these outputs. Once this is done, let's move uh, left to mixer and reverb window which is uh, where a lot of things happen and uh, let me make it a little bit bigger okay now uh, this thing this window is quite uh, populated and uh, let's uh, observe a few things the first, in, the first important thing is that you need to uh, um, work on the preset that is indicated here. So I have the organ uh, rooted to preset number 3. So I have to touch uh, to see any change only the preset number 3 uh, bus. So this is the master bus and then uh, we will see also for the primary bus. So basically, let's start from uh, <coughs> the, main, the main recording uh, uh, master bus, which goes to the JBL and to the record audio capability of Outwork 5. So in, 
I'm basically doing this this part with that line set up this portion of my configuration the mix main rack goes to rack and to the JBL which I have here indicated the S21 and S22 but as I explained in my previous uh, screen that was JBL left and right then I have uh, the headphone uh, uh, mic, uh, master bus. I have no headphone, so everything is set to none. Uh, I have a subwoofer. My subwoofer goes to the uh, DBX active filter, uh, channel 1 and channel 2. So I am, I am uh, doing this portion there, DBX portion. Here it is and I don't need to touch S19, S20 because those are connected to the DBX box so there is no, no need to tell Outwork uh, of the existence of these two loudspeakers <coughs> um, so mix is done, now uh, the subwoofer is done then I have the reverberation part and I'm using the, the lexicon and I'm using the uh, impulse response reverb from Outwork, as you can see here. And basically, this corresponds to this portion here. Okay, so I have the impulse response uh, uh, reverb. I have the lexicon reverb box, and uh, I did this this way because I can bypass the the lexicon reverb if I want and use only the uh, Outwork 5 reverb, or I can switch off uh, uh, the uh, um, Outwork 5 reverb and use the lexicon. But uh, in my case, basically, uh, the, the lexicon is becoming redundant, so it is possible that uh, in the near future I, I, modify, I modify this and I remove the lexicon box. <coughs> but for the time being, uh, if you want to do uh, different effects that are than churches, uh, the lexicon box could be a good source of, uh, of, uh, of uh, reverberation. <coughs> now, um, I've done uh, M set for the, the, ma the, the master uh, buses. Now, what I need to configure are the primary buses. And the primary buses are configured by going to open and show this portion of the screen. So by clicking, uh, right clicking uh, or double clicking on, on this line, I open a quite large uh, uh, set of, uh, of uh, configuration uh, possibilities. Um, and again, I need to work on the preset number 3, so this is very important. So I need to find my preset number 3, uh, which will be the 2049th line of this, uh, more or less. Uh, here it is, preset number 3. I don't use intermediate bus of the preset number 3 and uh, the preset number 3 uh, for primary bus 2 output to stereo uh, 1 and 2 which is basically uh, this uh, portion of my picture stereo 1 and 2 with the with the uh, out front speaker 012 is corresponding to this. Then I have uh, speakers out front 3 and 4 going to uh, 3 and 4, as you can see, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then I do for the rear 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and the noise to the BE left and right. Note that um, <coughs> uh, I can call uh, these primary buses as I want. So to help me remember 
which one is front or rear I put uh, out front uh, and then the, the the number of the speaker I'm using uh, and out rear and so on and so forth the other important part of this uh, uh, this screen is that um, uh, the uh, this bus send also to these uh, mixer buses, master mm -hmm. buses, and the, this correspond to um, this correspond to uh, having the these yellow lines here. These yellow lines. Uh, for each uh, primary bus, I'm sending the output to the various uh, uh, master bus for the uh, active, active filtering, for the main, and for the reverber. So basically, that means, and this is why the recorder was put here, basically means that all the sounds coming out of the organ will go into, for instance, the recording. So I will be able to record my <coughs> music uh, out of these many uh, buses uh, by uh, routing the output of each uh, primary bus into these mixer buses, master buses. And this is done by ticking this uh, box. For instance, I noticed that I had uh, five checked. I want to remove it, so I can do uh, select uh, all of them uh, and uh, basically uncheck the five, which was an old uh, an old configuration I had. And um, so, as you can see now, I have uh, all the for all the buses going uh, to. Um, to the different speakers, the different channels, and to the different stereo mix uh, buses that I defined before. At this point, I'm done with the uh, with the multi-channel output configuration, and uh, what I want to do is uh, I want to tell which uh, rank goes to which. Uh, group and basically I now have my ranks uh, the CAN organ has uh, very nicely div divided the, uh, the front and the rear part of the pipes so it's very easy to select uh, all the fronts like this with the control A and tell that the rank output perspective one is going to the front group, okay? Uh, called surround front. The um, there will be an interesting uh, observation I'm doing a uh, little bit later about uh, why the rank one is in a white box and why the ranks perspective two, three, and four are in this gray box. Okay, I I can very well add uh, if I add one. For instance, if I add uh, uh, front uh, surround front one set of speaker and surround front two set of speakers, I could send uh, um, uh, surround front two uh, here. So in this case, I'm sending <coughs> the this all these pipes to all these ranks to the front and the rear. Um, if I wanted, but in my case I uh, I am not configured to do that. So I, s I do choose to have a perspective to go nowhere, like 3 and 4. I do the same for uh, the rear portion of the ranks. Excuse me. Oops. I unselected. Here we go. Control A select all the, the rear speakers and send them to, to the rear group 
Okay, so perspective one goes to the rear group, so speak. And similarly, I select all the noises. There we go. And I send all the noises to the noise uh, group. At this point, because I didn't use any of these grade, uh, the, uh, let's say, any of these um, uh, perspectives that are in the gray box, at this point, my configuration for me uh, is finished. But if I had selected <coughs> uh, uh, a, a perspective number two and number three or four, I still need to do one, one action which is quite important because otherwise you will not uh, have any sound coming out of uh, perspective two, three, and four. Uh, this action basically uh, uh, is to uh, raise the volume of the ranks that goes to perspective 2, 3 and 4 because uh, let's say I have the bombard here, 16th uh, that goes to perspective 2 as well um, if you select perspective 2 the volume, as you can see, is 0 and this is true also for perspective 3 and for perspective 4. All of them are 0, while perspective 1, which is in the white box, is 100%. Uh, so if you want to use the perspective number two, 3 or 4, you need to raise the volume to the value that you want. And this is key to having uh, any sound coming out of uh, the groups uh, attached to the perspective 2, 3, and 4. Um, I think this completes uh, uh, the, the settings presentation. And again, uh, let me show the... Uh, the picture of the environment. So we had... Uh, configured the, the groups that goes to these uh, buses and we have uh, the ranks which correspond to perspective 1, 2, 3 and 4 it goes to, in my case, perspective 1 for, uh, for a certain number of ranks goes to the front, other goes to rear and the noise goes to noise. Thank you very much for, uh, for listening. I hope that uh, this is helpful to shed, shed, put some light into the mixer uh, feature of Outer 5 and I wish you all the best. Thank you.